Oktoberfest 2024 Toronto. It's after last week episode 197. Let's go! my fellow cheer walkers to another episode of laugh from last week hope last week has served you well just a quick shameless plug before we go on I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel so coming off an actual decent night shift last night i got less than two hours of post night shift nap before doing a couple of facebook marketplace purchases so in order to level up with my vlog, I went out and got these K9 wireless microphones that I plan to do a review video on sometime in the future. All right, regular test with the iPhone 12 mini microphone. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Now, second time testing the K9 wireless microphone off my collar. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. But next, recalling this segment from a couple weeks back. Then going in rush hour traffic all the way across town to Brampton to pick up this Facebook Marketplace item. The new Mini Cooper's dash cam that I plan to install some time soon. Well today, guess who actually had some time to finally install this baby in the Mini Cooper S? Taking some time to hide the wires during installation and making sure that this thing actually works for the Mini 2.0. So once again guys, I'll be doing a quick review video for this camera as well. So be sure to be on the lookout for that in the future. And last but not least, let's go on to the third Facebook Marketplace activity for the day. With me going all the way to East York to pick up something random. That I honestly don't know whether or not the wife will kill me for this. Or just ignore it and try to laugh it off. With me buying this. A new used baby mini for our well baby mini. Like even the seller laughed a little bit when I showed up with my mini to buy an even smaller version of the same mini. So, hoping to store this car until I get to surprise a couple of friends and family later on this week. I know for a fact that this mini car will definitely have many people enjoying it. Let's just look at what this thing can also do. <laughs> That's a working, a working horn. And I really can't wait to show this car off. But now, on to this evening, after bringing the wife to her Pilates class on the Danforth, I went back to my local Planet Fitness at Gerard Square to, once again, not work out, but instead to use the coin-operated massage chairs to wait for the wife here until her classes were done. But yeah, before I go on and pick up the wife this evening, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who I spend time with outside of work, visiting her at her place from time to time. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Indy. Happy birthday, Indy. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So starting off today, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my FCAR friends out there who I remember hosting me in Van City one time and who is currently killing it at the moment with their consulting business. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. 
I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So last night, after picking up the wife from her class, and driving through this evening rain in order to quickly visit my Ate Shah for a little bit. I got home for unfortunately a poor sleep getting up at around 5 a.m. Way before the time of the sunrise today. But yeah, with the Japanese shirt that the wife got me from overseas when she went and traveled recently. While editing my videos, this morning, I chow down on this imported melon pan that the wife also brought home for me. As well as many more of my favorite Japanese treats that I had when I last visited there. Tokyo bananas that I last tasted before the pandemic. Then after being the chauffeur to the wife, Taking her to another Central Scarborough physio appointment earlier. I went back to do my addicting Wednesday ritual that I've done in weeks past. Obviously going back to crazy bins. Seeing just how busy it is on Wednesday's $1 per item day. And all these random items in the bins. I managed to come out with a handful of things, including this package of rubber duckies in honor of my former roommate Jeffers, and come out with whatever I could grab with my two hands, all this stuff for only five bucks. Then after going with the wife to Scarborough Town Center for a quick stop, looking outside the condo window to see these rentals of the awning in the plaza in front of us, I enjoyed the beautiful sunset to the west this evening as I attempt to finish editing Live From Last Week episode 196 for tonight. So last night before sleeping, I was greatly surprised by the wife who brought me home some Nene Korean fried chicken. After going out with one of our friends, Jasmine, to get these beautiful nails done up at the North York area that she had taken time to show off to me. And as for the chicken that I was so grateful for, I had tried to devour as much of this takeout order as I could before trying to get some sleep. But guys, unfortunately that excitement was short-lived as my total rest of the night was less than five hours. Getting up prior to the sunrise before 6 a.m. So guys, it was off to finish editing my live from last week videos before the sun came up. Until it was time in the afternoon to meet at TD with my new financial advisor. And after that meeting, I decided once again to try to surprise my buddy, Cammy Sue, of whom I told I needed help with washing my Mini. So just like I once did with my previous Mini Cooper doggy, using my newly purchased $5 Dollarama tripod, I shot some video of me planning to meet him at a local 24 hour car wash in the area, getting my mini surprise ready for him, aka busting out this, the one, the only, the mini mini. So before he got there, I quickly started and finished washing up the mini Cooper S, then started to do a mini car wash on the mini mini. Even doing this mini mini detailing job. Just in time for Cam to arrive and for me to show him my mini mini surprise. Okay, close your eyes. <laughs> I 
I bet you you're not ready for this. I am probably not. Alright. Okay, count of three. Open up your eyes. Ready? One, two, three. Open up. <laughs> Surprise! It's so cute! Whee! Then, prior to parting ways, I gave him a pasalubong package of goodies from the wife's recent Asia travels. Hand off. It's a handoff. Hiya! Uh, <laughs> package delivered. There you go. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Now, recalling this scene from a previous Laugh From Last Week episode, I went to a local top bin shop, buying this new scoreboard for one of my indoor volleyball friends, Joanne. I headed to the Midtown Toronto area to surprise one of my friends with a belated birthday present. Close your eyes, I have a birthday present for you. Yeah, put your arms out like that so that you can carry it. Okay, okay, guys. <laughs> Oh wow! Thank you! Happy birthday! Thank you! <laughs> Before we continued with our first session of the school year of playing pickup midtown indoor volleyball. So quickly, I have a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends who I remember hanging out with during our freshman year when she was at U of T and I was at Ryerson. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Shay. Happy birthday, Sarah. And we've also got a birthday greeting to one of the wife's coworkers who you guys know I've played alongside with in indoor volleyball in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Emily. Happy birthday, Em. I'm hoping that everybody who has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So moving on, after being exhausted from over the past couple of days not getting enough sleep, last night, although moving from the couch to the bed in the middle of it, I actually got in a sleep of almost eight hours. Anyways, today, back at the Scarborough Bluffs to shoot a quick how-to install slash review video of the recent roof rack that we got on the Mini. With this quick plug to go check it out when the video comes out. I earlier went to a crazy bin store that I haven't been to in quite a little while. Buying a couple of random things while I was here. First, shouting out to my Good Shepherd Elementary School basketball teammates out there. Just look at this treasure that I was able to locate from the past. One of these WWJD slash What Would Jesus Do fabric bracelets that we would sport and wear just like the NBA players would rep at that time. I was also able to locate this collection of 
the weekend 8x10 posters that I'm planning to give one of my co-workers as she is a huge weekend fan. But yeah, it's off to one single night shift later on tonight that I can't wait to finish as tomorrow we got another busy day planned ahead. So last night, after a pretty stressful commute, one that usually would take only 35 to 40 minutes, but had the wife and I late for work on a 75 minute commute. This morning, I got off yet another busy, but pretty steady night shift. And guys, recalling a purchase that I made just yesterday, I took the co-worker Tiffany on a mini carpool with this surprise for one of the biggest fans of the weekend. Yeah, close your eyes. Okay. Put your hands out. Ready? Yeah. Okay, look at it. Flip it and then see what it <gasps> is. Oh my god! I love him! I love him! <laughs> Op you. Open it up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. And judging by her reaction. Ooh. Oh my god, how's the balloon? <laughs> oh, so cool. Oh my god, sorry. Best album. Best album. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she really enjoyed this present. You know what's funny? You're wearing a mask, so I, I can only see your eyes. Just... <laughs> Speaking of Cool, you're welcome. Oh <laughs> but now, on to our busy day that we had earlier all day today, where I stayed up because I didn't have any time to sleep, as I took the parents and the wife to the Downsview Costco to enjoy a pre Oktoberfest meal. Happy Oktoberfest! Oktoberfest! From Costco! Cheers! All right. Before celebrating just like we did around this time last year and using this baby that I bought a couple weeks back going to the Downsview Park area to dress up just like this twinning with Tita Mone who also twinned with the wife and the tablecloths that they had here, accompanied by the one, the only, Tito Eddie, to attend the 2024 version of the Toronto Oktoberfest. After that fun time at this year's 2024 Toronto Oktoberfest, where I was able to meet up some of my brothers in the ICU Brotherhood. Yo, check out who I ran into at Oktoberfest! Boo, 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 boo! Yo, the Brotherhood has reunited! The family and I made our way from Germany to China, going to the perfect Chinese restaurant here in Scarborough 
for this feast? Where the wife claims that they have changed the carpets and the lighting fixtures at this restaurant before on lack of sleep after not sleeping at all post night shift. I'd passed out on the couch with my phone in my hand at the early hour of 8 p.m. Then waking up about six hours after at the early time of 1.45 in the morning. I got ready to be an Uber driver for the wife to take her to the airport earlier this morning, escorting her to Terminal 3 of YYZ to meet up with one of our friends and co-worker Jasmine to say goodbye to her as she goes off and travels once again. Safe flight guys. Enjoy Florida while I work and slave over here. Yeah right, you're gonna be working. <laughs> This time to Florida with her co-workers. Next, after seeing a post on my buddy Chris's story, as well as remembering that Raptors legend Vince Carter has his jersey posted all around Toronto, in honor of the Raptors retiring his jersey number later on this year, I made my way to the exhibition grounds to be seen doing some magic tricks and magically finding that jersey on my body. Just kidding guys. But honestly, when I initially got to the grounds, I was honestly quite disappointed as the jersey that was up there had already been taken down. Like this is how it was supposed to look like from the west of the princess gates to how it actually looked in person as well as this point of view from the east of the princess gates to how it looked in reality also in person no jersey here guys and believe it or not this was all done before the early hour of 6 a.m Next, since I was already in the area and knew that the TTC subway had closures all throughout the whole weekend, as well as me turning on this nice little sign to show that I'm available to pick up Uber passengers, I had picked up a couple of my co-workers post-night shift. Hey. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> to take them home before going to Sunday morning Catholic Mass at the St. Boniface Catholic Church. Then randomly running into this guy that I paparazzied in the parking lot of Walmart. Yo, paparazzi! Paparazzi! <laughs> Yo, after paparazzi him, I tripped him out Wearing my Raptors jersey, Jeff! <laughs> At Walmart! <laughs> so this is a hidden gem, it's a hidden gem. <laughs> but speaking of that recent Walmart visit, I went out and got another accessory for the Mini Cooper. This cigarette outlet splitter that allowed me to plug in not only the dash cam, but also made room for my customized seat ejection button as well. Next up, I went to the local metro to buy this pot of mom's flowers that I went to take with me to do my monthly visit, this time in September, to my Lola V. Hey Lola, it's JJ. Just wanted to come visit you on my monthly visit and just wanted to give you this bouquet of mums for our Mama V. Let me open this for you, Lola. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, that's better. Okay, we love you, Lola. See you next time. Then after seeing this post from one of my buddies, Jagger, and seeing that he had updated his new website, Karma Tickets, as you guys know, one of my favorite places to get my third-party resale tickets for events. Congratulations, by the way, on that 
Jagger. And the fact that today was the last game of the Toronto Blue Jays 2024 season. After going all the way to Florida to watch them in spring training earlier this year, I switched off from my Raptors jersey that I was wearing earlier and put on that Blue Jays hoodie giveaway hoodie that I actually got a couple weeks back. They spontaneously switched my mind and changed into this Blue Jays themed shirt that the wife got from work that was also designed by one of her patient's families and go down with it to the dome meeting up with my buddy the one the only Jagger Yo guys check it out Jagger! Karma hat! I'm a tickets, baby. Thanks for all your support, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah. Represent with this hat from Karma Tickets. Met up with a couple of other friends from the stadium. Yo, Faye, look who you missed. <laughs> and went on to watch the 2024 Blue Jays season finale. But yeah guys, as I passed out early last night, we'll just do a couple of belated birthday greetings to start it off. With the first greeting going out to one of my friends from our YSIG days, who I aspire to be like as a vlogger with her blogs on Health Nut Nutrition. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nikki. Happy belated birthday, Nikki. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers who I remember going to Halloween parties with in Liberty Village back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. We also got a birthday shout out to one of my family friends in Michigan. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Anthony. Happy birthday, Anthony. We do have a birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who I remember working with during those summer days at V. VG. This birthday shout out goes out to you Maeve. Happy belated birthday Maeve. And we've got a belated birthday greeting to one of my titos back in the Philippines who I remember was a big soccer fan just like me. This belated birthday shout out goes out to you Father Fabi. Happy birthday Father Fabi. And last but not least we got a birthday greeting to one of my s Chalk friends out there who I remember going to Europe with during World Youth Day 2011. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nikki. Happy birthday, Nikki. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today and belated birthdays from yesterday are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So this day started with me getting a six and a half hour sleep in after unfortunately passing out at around 9 p.m. and getting up just after 4 a.m. So at that early hour, I just got busy working on my new roof rack installation video, a how-to and review video on how to install that roof rack that's on my mini, editing this video literally all day, until I finally finished it this afternoon. So afterwards, needing to get out and away from the laptop, I found my way back at Crazy Bins once again for their $5 day today. Snatching up a couple of these items that had caught my eye. Spending only 17 bucks on these three things that I'm excited to show you guys next week. So stay tuned for next week's episode, guys. Anyways, I next headed over to Billy Bishop Airport to pick up my indoor volleyball friend, Helen, coming in from New York City. Being her personal amateur Uber driver and having her first mini carpool. Check it out, the newest guest in the mini carpool 2.0. Helen! Then recalling this scene from a previous Lab From Last Week episode, when I started to record a video of me playing setter for this team, my phone unfortunately 
ran out of storage space. We were back at it as I was subbing in for our indoor volleyball team tonight. <laughs> But moving on, before I enjoy these JoJo's cookies that Helen got as a pasalubong from a Trader Joe's in the States. Which is going to quickly do a birthday greeting for one of my longtime family friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Francis. Happy birthday, Francis. And we've got another birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends out there who I remember competing with in the Knights of Columbus free throw championships when we we're younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bronson. Happy birthday, Bronson. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today, are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And well, there you have it, guys. We'll wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter. Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.